Caitlin, just to start off with, uh, a nice, quiet, international introduction for you then. <laughs> um, wouldn't go that far, but yeah, just uh, over the moon, obviously. How did you find it all? It was just a whirlwind from start to finish, I guess. Um, I went over there English and came back Irish. Um, went over there with no caps and came back with two, so... Um, Really can't complain about anything. It was just, it was, it was magical. Not only to be come back with a cap, but come back with an international goal. <laughs> yeah, um, right place, right time. Um, it was just, it was great playing with uh, the girls out there, and obviously to have that experience and be on an international stage is something I've yearned for for a very long time. So, it was a dream come true, um, and just glad to get my first goal, and hopefully it's the first of many. I would imagine the fact that they had they were going out to the World Cup at the back end of last season when they were preparing might have meant you've had to wait just for that opportunity. And I know like everything's up in the air just now with the Irish squad and what's happening, but do you feel as though you've done enough now to go in and, and start pushing for a place? Um, I think the type of personality I am, I think I can always do more. Um, I could have done more on that trip, but um, I'm 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 thankful for what I did and 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 I'm content with what I did and. Like I said, football is a game of opinions and, and whoever they bring in, it'll be their opinion that matters and, and just hopefully I've done enough. But if not, I'm, I'm just grateful for the opportunity that I've had. Did any of the kind of FA guys explain to you? Obviously, you must have been on their radar for a while. I know you'd spoken before about your eligibility, um, but did anyone just explain to you, well, you know, we had a fairly settled squad going to the World Cup, but we want to have a look at you now or anything like that? No, just just more so. I I knew they knew who I was. I knew they knew what I'd done at Celtic, and I knew they definitely knew who Celtic was. So, um, just going in at the end of the day, like I just couldn't look at the fact of what I've missed out on. It was it was more so going in there, turning up, doing what I do every day at Celtic, and and hoping it's enough. And and if it is, it is, and if it isn't, it isn't. But um, like I said, I'm just content moving forward with what I've done, and and fingers crossed, I get a place on that squad list next next camp. They've got a lot of big players too, haven't they? Yeah, of course. Like you've got your Denise O'Sullivan, Katie McCabe, and and playing at the back with uh, Louise Quinn is is something of dreams, and it's great to be around those players and and learn their version of professionalism and 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 learn how they train and and what they bring to the table, and obviously what they have at their clubs. It's it's definitely eye opening, and it's something that's it's great to be a part of, and it's only an environment that makes you get better. So for that, I'm grateful. Mm -hmm. And in terms just of now Thursday, what well just to round off in the international, it's good for Celtic too to know that you know it, there's a stage here. If you're performing well at Celtic, then you're going to maybe get your opportunity international wise. Yeah, of course, of course. I mean, if you do so well, people can't ignore you, and and that's what I like to think that my consistency last season managed to get me that opportunity this season. And and yeah, it's great. It's great for the club. It's great for an individual, but it's also great to just come back and and be home, I guess, and come back to the comforts of Celtic and wrapped around your teammates again and in and amongst this environment. It's, it's definitely something that I've missed, even though Ireland's so great. It's Celtic's environment is just as good and it's good to be home and, and now that's my main focus. And your thoughts on Thursday night? This is obviously the first time you've played Glasgow City since the end of last season. That game at Celtic Park, that midweek night game? Yeah, of course. Uh, you could look at it as, as a payback for maybe the end of last season, but dropping all the motions of last season and, and, and fixing our eyes on this season, it's uh, just sticking to what we know. We know each other fairly well and, and fingers crossed we can get that three points. How important do you think these games are? Just when there's so little between the three of you at the top and you know obviously the Rangers will be looking over or Thursday night to see if, there, if there's any give. Like just how vital are these games in determining the outcome of the title? Yeah, of course, of course. We've seen how how slim it was at the top last year, so they're vital. But so are the vital. So uh, three points are three points. They're they're both worth the same, whether they're three points from from Montrose or they're three points from from Rangers. It's still three points. So we'll go in there and have the same mentality that we have every game, which is that it's a must win, um, and that's what we'll go do on Thursday and go with that attitude of it's a must win. Do you think they're a better side? Do you think they're a stronger side than what they were last season? Um, 
I'm not too sure. I'm not focused on, on, on them. I know that we're a stronger side than last year, in my opinion. So that's what we'll focus on and we'll, we'll work hard in training. We've got one training session left and, and we've done our analysis and, and we'll move forward in the confidence of how we play and what we bring to that to that pitch on Thursday. And, and like I said, if all going well and we do what we do, I, I have no doubt that we'll come back with that three points. We talk for a decent crowd on Thursday night. Yes, of course. Green and white crowd is always desired. The uh, Glasgow City, of course, too, could potentially have a Champions League qualification campaign, dep- depending on what happens in their next playoff game. Is that something that works domestically to your advantage if they're playing midweek and then coming back on a Sunday? Or, or I, I know ideally you'd probably rather be in that environment, but does it work to your advantage? Um. Like I said, I don't think we're necessarily concentrating on the minutes that are in Glasgow City's legs or or their training sessions or anything other than what they're going to bring on Thursday. That's our main focus. But the greatest focus of all is how we bring th- what we bring to that pitch and how we play and, and what we believe in and, and how good we are. And like I said, we focus on that, we turn up and we'll get the three points.